Hey, good morning and welcome back to Grandma Jane's World. It's going to be a really hot day, like heat index of 105 or something like that. So I thought I'm home today. I'm going to make uh, something that doesn't require the oven on. And I'm going to make chocolate sauce, a real popular one that goes on ice cream, which is a good thing to eat today, right? So it starts with a half a cup of butter that you melt. Okay, get you down there so you can see it. And then four ounces of unsweetened cocoa or chocolate that you blend in together. Get it so it's all incorporated. And I'm doing this without a double boiler, so I have to be careful not to get it to boil it or anything. It gets too grainy if you do, so you just want to keep it warm but not boiled. Then it calls for one large can of the evaporated milk or one and two thirds cup, which this was. It's the uh, 12 fluid ounce can of the evaporated milk added to that. And then there's like four or three, excuse me, three cups of sugar, white sugar that you want to add slowly and blend it in there. Do not allow to boil, it says. Okay, some people make this every year for their ice cream sundaes. And just add, uh, gradually add the sugar, salt, and evaporated milk. Well, I already did the evaporated milk, so I kind of messed up there, but there's, um, I need to add a half a teaspoon of salt Okay, I'll do that. Just keep blending. I've got it on like a medium heat. And then I'll keep adding sugar slowly so that I can get it all incorporated. And the recipe says it will continue, uh, you stir it constantly and it continues to thicken as it cools. Sounds great. And when I'm done, have it cooled, I will put it on a dip of ice cream and show you what it looks like. But uh, these are really popular. And you know, I've never made a homemade chocolate sauce, so this is fun. I also have a praline ice cream sauce I'd like to make for you too. It's got carol syrup and egg, chopped pecans, vanilla, margarine, sugar, in it and it sounds wonderful to put on ice cream or cookies or whatever you really want want to probably put it on top of cake lots of things yeah i got up and got a bunch of errands run while it was cool it was still 75 degrees outside but it's like 70 70 percent humidity <laughs> So it's going to be a hot one for sure. I think we have tomorrow yet supposed to be hotter and then Thursday still and then better. By the weekend it's supposed to be in the 70s and beautiful so I think we can make it. I think we'll make it. We just have to be careful and use our heads and kind of stay in. You know, if it's too hot, don't overdo it. I was going to do some leaf blowing out in the garage and that kind of stuff and I thought no, I'll wait till the weekend when it's cooler stupid to do, go out and suffer, you know. Anyway, this is smelling like divine. If you like chocolate, this will be a good chocolate fix, just like that chocolate pie I made. Oh my gosh. You need to get like a high on chocolate. <laughs> that is a perfect thing to do. Anything. Anyway, nothing's really new around here since yesterday, and I made those uh, pretzels, and those were a hit with my friends down at the store. Oh, I did make a mistake on that video, too. I said there was a Saxony store in Clear Lake. No, it's in Mason City. Mason City and Charles City, so I just wanted to be sure I got corrected on that. But there are some really cool stores in Clear Lake, too. And I love to go to Cedar Falls, where University of Northern Iowa is, too. They've got a great downtown area. 
Waterloo's awesome too with a boutique that I really like. So it's fun to venture out of town once in a while, especially while the weather's good. Once the weather gets nasty, then I'm not so thrilled about going out of town, you know. Snowstorms can happen and all that stuff. I just soon stay home and be safe. And hopefully we'll have a good winter. Our winters have been milder around here in Iowa. We've been lucky for that. I mean, we might get a cold, windy day, but it doesn't last forever, and we sure don't get the snow or anything like we used to. We have a picture somewhere of my great-grandfather standing next to his car. Yeah, here he is. With a friend. It's like a 40 Ford. Um, and look at the snow. <laughs> My, that was one of my mom's favorite pictures because she said, you know, you just don't see snow like that. And I'd hear how it would be above, like, railroad cars and stuff. We just, I don't know. If maybe the global warming's part of that, but we don't get snow like that anymore. Or we haven't. That doesn't mean we won't. Weather's really weird. But I'm so thankful my friends in California are safe. Because, you know, the hurricane, which they don't have usually, and then um, tornadoes spinning off that, and then an earthquake. <laughs> Crazy. They said they never felt the earthquake either. I'm glad. So, I'm going to keep stirring this, and then I'll come back when it's a little thicker and show you how to put it on ice cream. Okay, I'm back with this delicious chocolate sauce. I've let it cool some and I've got a bowl of ice cream, a big bowl, here and I'll show you. I'll drizzle it over it. Oh my gosh, my grandkids will love this. Jackson loves chocolate sauce on vanilla ice cream anyway. So he is gonna really go nuts. Have a great day and I love you. Bye.